How to test solenoid with a multimeter. First, set the multimeter to the ohms setting. The ohms setting is represented by a Greek omega symbol. When testing a solenoid with a multimeter, you have to touch the solenoid terminals with the black and red leads of the multimeter. The black lead must be connected to the negative terminal. In contrast, the red lead needs to be connected to the positive terminal. Set the multimeter to its ohms setting. The ohms setting allows you to test for continuity. Place the multimeter probes on the solenoid terminals, usually located on top of the solenoid casing. Touch one probe to the terminal marked S on the solenoid casing. Touch the other probe to any other terminal. Check the reading on the multimeter display screen for an indication of continuity or a low resistance reading between 0 and 1 ohm. If you get this reading, it means there is no problem with the solenoid. If your solenoid is working properly, the voltage reading on your multimeter should be between 12 and 24 volts. If it's not, there could be a problem with your wiring or a short in your circuit. Make sure it's getting enough power by hooking up a load, such as an LED, to the solenoid terminals and attaching a multimeter to them. If you're drawing less than 12 volts, you have a problem with your wiring, which you'll have to fix by checking the voltage coming out of the circuit board. You can also use a multimeter to test if your solenoid has been wired correctly. With the solenoid positioned as directed, hold down the trigger and slowly apply a voltage through the terminals. The meter should indicate 12 volts and then slowly drop as the current is drawn from the solenoid. If it doesn't, make adjustments and try again until it does.